We know the mad millennials claim to be the biggest party people of Europe. Now, I'm known to party, and I just wonder how far they can go. I'm going to see if I can keep up the pace. Let's check it out. Rumour has it that Madrid has 100,000 bars, and it's probably not far off the truth, as the Spanish National Institute of Statistics report that there's one bar for every 143 people in Spain. That's almost triple the EU average. Well, you know, I always say, when you're in a city for the first time, best to hook up with somebody in the know. I've picked up in Madrid, which is basically your club and nightlife guide, the editor, a guy called Simon, I'm about to hook up with now, in what is supposed to be like a traditional tapas place where people will just hang out for the first part of the evening. <laughs> As you can see, it's already quite busy. Simon's magazine is widely read by Spaniards and not just the growing English-speaking community in Madrid. Simon. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? I'm really good. I'm really good. You've chosen the busiest place to meet up. Yeah, I know, but there's a reason why it's so busy. <laughs> you know so, what so, so what is this? This is kind of like pretty much first stop for most people on, yeah. a, on a big night out? Absolutely. This is a really good place to go, sort of warming up for the night out because the beers are really cheap. I'll just let this Which guy through. Helps. The beers are really cheap. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> and it's really busy. Yeah. And it's really busy and lots of free tapas. One of those little beers is one euro fifty, and you get a plate like that every time you buy a beer. Right. And, you, and, and I don't know how they do it, but they always put you down different tapas. Even though you've been in here all night, they know exactly what you just had, and they put you down a different plate. These tapas are more like sandwiches, but if you're planning to drink all night, they're just what you need to keep you going. Thanks. So, how long have you been in Madrid now, Simon? I've been here for just over six years. Right. Pretty much, uh, I came out here pretty much straight after university. I was here for a week, actually, in my last year of university, and I left the city just going, wow. There's just something about Madrid that just clicks. It's, it's, it's a village-sized city still. I mean, you can get around the place so easily, you can walk everywhere, and the strange thing is, when you're walking around the city, you keep bumping into people that you know. It's, it's, it's got that kind of village feel. You can't really imagine that in London. Also, it's, it's easy to go out and eat cheaply. It's easy to go out, you know, the clubs, are, the clubs are open until really late. You never have to worry about being able to get home because, you know, you, you, the average club chucking out time is around sort of six or seven in the morning. So you haven't got that thing where it's like, oh, how am I going to get home? You know, can I get a cab? Where is the metro still going? Now, I know the Brits love to pub crawl, but I also hear that for, for Madrilenios, that, that is completely the way of, way of life, going bar hopping from one place to the next throughout the night. If there are lots of bars that do tapas, then you're going to want to hop from one to the other, have a bite here or there. And that's why you see less kind of sort of drunkenness on the streets, because people are eating as they go along, people are eating as they drink and, and, and just enjoying the food. So, fortified with our free tapas, we head off to sample a few more of Madrid's bars, some of Simon's old favourites and a newcomer to the scene. The Laydown is the latest cool place to hang out in Madrid. You have to queue to get in and the novelty is the seating arrangement. It's very laid back. Do you have a bed for the night, please? <laughs> Just a bed for one night, <laughs> even part of the night. <laughs> uh, he's the funny one from Yeah, the, he's, uh, he's uh, a comedian. Yeah, I'm a comedian, that's right. <laughs> and he has put us next to a very large group of girls. Well, you can't complain, can you? <laughs> There's always an added bonus, yeah, I absolutely. believe. These mattresses just aren't any other mattresses. They feel like orthopedic. You can, yeah. actually, <laughs> you can actually spend the night here. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. Great for those who miss their siesta. What do you think of lying, lying on a bed and having a drink and having something to eat? It's a bit strange, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, but something new, I don't know. The laydown experience includes dinner and a cabaret, which isn't really our thing. So time to move on. We've done the bar thing, yep. OK, but I am actually feeling a little bit peckish, and I, and I believe this is about the kind of time to go out for a meal in Spain. Well, all right, yeah. I mean, it's 11 o'clock now, so I suppose I can let you, you know, sit down for dinner. No, we've I been out for I can't believe that people for long go to eat at sort of 10 Good past evening. 11 at night. <laughs> Good evening, Amelia. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Is this where we mix art and dinner? Is that right? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> This is Animus restaurant off Plaza de España. It doubles up as an art gallery. It attracts a more sophisticated crowd who could still be here at six in the morning. 
it's commonplace for all, all kind of sections of society to stay out until really ungodly hours in Madrid. It's a very common thing. They'll finish here and then they'll go and get a cup of hot chocolate and with their churros, with their churros pastries, and they eat those before they go home. I, mean, I think we should order, shouldn't we? Oh, we've got, yeah, we've already we've got, got some here. Little, uh, Fantastic. Aperitivos there. <laughs> Simon and I are not done yet, and as for the Madrileños, the night is still apparently very young. The question is, can I keep up the pace? 